Hey guys, welcome to my keto diet video. This is a vlog. I'm walking you through my three weeks on a keto diet and how I lost weight. And this, so basically this is how to lose weight with a keto diet fast. Guys, this is how I lost 10 pounds in three weeks on a keto diet. Okay guys, so basically over this holiday season, I got sick. I'm still a little bit sick. As you can hear, it is January 4th right now and I started the diet on January 1st, but over the holiday season, I got sick and I was, you know, we were lazy and couldn't move around much, had a lot of fatigue and just, you know, being sick, something's been going around. So we kind of, you know, our holiday vacation was just laying on the couch and ordering in and eating a lot of junk. So that's kind of what happened. So I put on about 10 pounds. So now I'm going to see what results I can get by going on a keto diet for three weeks. I'm going on a fitness cruise at the end of the month, uh, the end of January on the 21st. So I am doing this keto diet with Spencer until we leave. So we're gonna see what type of results I can get. Um, for those that don't know what a keto diet is, it's basically restricting your carb intake to about 50 grams a day because um, it is kind of impossible to eliminate it all completely <laughs> because there's still carbs in certain fruits and vegetables and drinks and other products. So you're restricted to about 50 grams per day and you up your fat intake. So somebody like me would probably consume about 120 grams of fat a day. And then I still need to man maintain my um, protein intake um, to supplement my muscle growth. So. It has been a difficult three days. I'm only three days into my diet, guys. And I've already lost three pounds, which is pretty cool. But I did read that you actually lose a lot of water weight in your first week because when you eat a lot of carbs, those absorb a lot of moisture and they keep a lot of water in your body. So the first thing that's gonna go is a lot of water weight, which is cool but crazy <laughs> to think about. So I don't think it's hit my fat yet, but we're gonna see how much fat I can lose and I will show you guys before and after videos and I'll keep taking videos throughout the process. Um, but yeah, it has been difficult. I love carbs, I love bread, I love pasta, I love, I love rice and I can't have any of that. So I've been eating a lot of avocados, um, a lot of olive oil, coconut flour. I actually made a bread <laughs> for the first time and I made it with coconut flour because I was just craving something carby and that was the best supplement, so we made like a coconut flour loaf, which you can have. You can cook things with coconut flour and almond flour, so if you're into baking, that really helps you tread along. Here I am suffering only three days into this. Um, but yeah, basically, oh, another thing you can eat is butter. You can eat loads of butter, <laughs> which is kind of crazy. A lot of people implement this thing called Bulletproof Coffee, which is, you know, a shot of espresso with some butter in it. And then you drink that in the morning and that will jumpstart your keto, keto diet. But basically, the basis of keto is that when you're not giving it carbs, when you're not feeding your body carbs, your body usually uses, the basis of a keto diet is that you, instead of using your carbs for energy that you have been feeding your body, it starts to use your fat. And so when it starts to use your fat, you go into a state called ketosis and you start burning off your fat instead of the carbs that you were giving your body. So it's a great way to reach those fats that are hidden and deep inside those pockets. So we're gonna try to get rid of this. See this guys? I have fat, yes. Sometimes I look better than other days, but I do have some fat and it's normal. You know, we all go through ups and downs. I went through a binge week of eating pizza and cake and everything. So we are going to lose that. So stay tuned for the progress and the journey. <laughs> so I'm only two days into my keto diet and this is what I'm doing. Looking up how I can eat bread. Obviously I'm having a very difficult time <laughs> living without carbs, guys. I'm honestly not sure how long I will last, but if anybody has any tricks or tips on how to survive on a keto diet and not want to, you know, blow your brains out, please let me know. <laughs> That'd be great. I did it, guys. I made my keto bread, and it's actually pretty good. We made a sweeter version. It's like coconut bread something. It's yummy. 
why do I have a feeling I'm gonna be baking a cake every single day? We even made cream cheese frosting this time. Yeah. So this is day four, guys. I've only been on the keto diet for three days, and this is day four. I still feel somewhat chunky and fat, but we're gonna see if I can lose all of this by the time the three weeks are done. That is the goal because we gained quite a bit of weight over this holiday <laughs> season. But this is me, this is my progress after three days. And actually, I already have lost three pounds. So that is really, really good news. I started out at 156. That is the most I have ever weighed, guys. <laughs> Literally the most. And now I am at 152.8, so I've already dropped three pounds, which is quite a bit for three days of dieting. Typical breakfast here, avocado with olive oil and balsamic and some eggs, scrambled, some jalapenos today. And of course, I added cheese because we can, yum yum. And then a typical dinner for us. Is a, these are some chicken thighs that I am browning in some oil and then I'm gonna bake them in the oven with these mushrooms and heavy cream sauce because we can have the fat. We can have the fat, huh? We can have the fat. <laughs> yes, and then I'm just gonna saute these bell peppers and cauliflower and that is going to be our keto dinner for tonight. Okay, so I wanted to do kind of an update. It's been about 10 or 11 days now on my keto diet. And yes, yeah, somewhere in amidst all this, I also managed to get bangs. I didn't really style them today though. I just woke up. I haven't gotten to that yet. <laughs> so this is what's going on up here, guys. But anyways, don't pay attention. Um, yes, have I lost weight already? Yes, I have dropped quite a bit. I went down to... 149 but then we ended up having one evening of drinking and the water weight kind of um, collected again in my body so I went back up to 154 and then a couple days later I am back down to 150 now so it is just a lot of water weight that you lose in the beginning with keto so beware of that if you're going to be eating a lot of sodium or drinking you will gain that back. I think it's only after a week or two that you really start losing the fat <laughs> in your body, the true, true fat. Well, that's just my opinion of how it's working and how I was able to monitor that it is water weight. But other than that, um, it's going well. Here's my tummy today for those interested on a 10 day, 11 day ab check. <laughs> that's the situation. I, in the beginning, it was kind of difficult. The first like two, three days I was having some cravings, but that's why we started baking. And I was just really craving something carby. I wanted something sweet. I wanted something with that texture. So we started making loaves and cookies and there's actually a lot you can make. And it's all really simple. You just use almond flour or coconut flour and the recipes are really simple. They're basically just like butter and flour and sweetener and whatever other additions you add to it. But all of those baked goods are really good, but it is easy to get carried away with those as well. Um, so you gotta be careful. So I have a bit more to go in this challenge that I've created for myself. So we will see my end results. Another thing that you do have to kind of monitor and keep track of because it is easy. I've seen easy to um, get lost. I have watched some videos and people say they haven't lost weight or they lost very little weight, but I think it's because they're not 
monitoring their caloric intake even though you're removing all carbs so that you burn your fat you still have to eat at a deficit a caloric deficit in order to drop weight if you're just eating all the butter that you want you're obviously not going to lose weight you're just kind of adjusting your diet and you may not fluctuate and if that's what you want to do you can keep it there but if you are looking to actually lose you do have to eat at a caloric deficit so maybe i'll put a calculator down below that you guys can calculate what that would be for yourself but you have to eat in a deficit in order to lose that's just the law it doesn't matter what diet you're on so <laughs> if your body burns 2500 calories that's what you eat to maintain if you want to drop you have to eat a little less than that if you want to gain, you eat more. So that's just how, you know, it works. That's simple math. So I think the people that aren't losing, they aren't actually counting or keeping that into account. They are just eating, <laughs> which I did the first couple of days. And then I was like, wait, I still need to count and see, make sure that I'm not like overdoing it on the fats because fats are still fats, guys. So. That's just a big, big tip and note on this diet. Let the keto baking continue. We're having a bake off. This is by Daniel. And this chocolate one that's currently making is by me. So we're gonna see what tastes better. So we're halfway through one already. Here's my masterpiece with walnuts and chocolate chips. Yummy. Whoa, what's going on? Oh shit. Cream. Whipped cream. Which one do you like? I mean, they're both good. They're both good. We win. One thing I love about keto, you can have whipped cream. Yeah. Right after I shot that, guys, it fell on the floor. <laughs> Here are some of the cookies that I made. These are chocolate chip and walnut cookies with almond flour. I made another batch the other day that were a lot better, but these are still good i didn't put as much butter because i still wanted to control it so they're a bit drier than my other batch but they're still yummy Okay guys, so I made it through these three, oh, where am I dropping? <laughs> so I made it through these three weeks on my ketogenic diet, my keto diet, and all I have to say is I don't think I'm a big fan. I did see some results, but it's just a really restricting lifestyle. So I'm gonna kind of break it down for you guys. I have like the pros and the cons, and of course I'll put the here are the, also the result pictures for those that are interested and want to see before and afters. But I will tell you this, I definitely saw the most results in the first week. Therefore, I would say that it is definitely good for a short-term goal and it's good for short-term fat loss and weight loss if you are looking to lose a little bit of weight in a short amount of time it's definitely a good approach but for long-term living and goals i would say mm, down to the keto diet is just not for me and i just don't like that lifestyle it didn't really make me happy and i didn't necessarily feel that amazing um so let's go through it first i will tell you the pros first pro is yes it is good for fat loss and you will lose some fat if you get into ketosis. The trick is getting into ketosis isn't as easy as you think. You have to be very strict and this is where looking at all the labels of everything that you eat comes into play and you really learn a lot, which is actually a pro. You learn a lot about food and the labels and everything that is in a product. So I definitely say it's a good thing that it's a learning process, but it is hard to stay in ketosis because you have to limit your carbs to like 20, 30 net carbs a day. And you can't imagine like how many carbs there is in everything. Carbs are in everything. There's things that I was like, no way does this have carbs. You look at the label and there's carbs. So it's really restricting. But never mind, I'm talking about the pros right now. <laughs> but you do, if you do get into ketosis and if you do maintain it, you will burn fat, which is great. Um, 
Another pro, like I said, is that it is good for short-term gain loss. And I'm saying that because actually in your first week or 10 days or so, you're gonna lose a lot of water weight um, because carbs tend to retain a lot of water weight. And when you're not consuming those carbs, you drop a ton of water weight. So that's where your biggest gain, I mean, that's where your biggest um, weight loss is gonna come from in the beginning. So if you are looking, you know, getting ready for something that's coming up in a week, you wanna jump into that <laughs> ketosis for a quick week, then I would recommend it because you will just flush your body of a bunch of water weight. A keto diet is also really good for people that don't work out or don't have enough time to work out, if you have a desk job or whatnot because we don't really need to work out with it. So you're gonna be burning no matter what. You don't need to put in effort on this diet because your body will be in the state of shock and being like, ah, I'm dying and start burning the fat for you. So it is good for those that um, do have an office job and don't tend to make it to the gym or don't live an active lifestyle. Another pro is that it does remove cravings. I found myself not being hungry at all. There were like days where I would go, you know, six to eight hours and be like, whoa, I really haven't even thought about food because it's all those fats that are so like satisfying that they just really curb your cravings and you don't really crave anything and that sweet tooth and all of that just kind of goes out the door after a while. So that's definitely a pro if you have a problem with cravings. It is good for managing certain conditions like diabetes. People have gone on a keto diet and it has really helped um, obviously with their diabetes because they're not consuming any sugar, which leads to diabetes. So <laughs> it helps in conditions like that. You don't have to be so concerned about calorie count, keto, people on a keto diet aren't really so concerned with calorie count even though I think that is wrong because I think eating in a deficit is always going to be your you know biggest win in the long run if you're trying to lose weight. So yeah, those are kind of, oh, and well then of course another, another pro is that you can eat all the butter you want. There's like, you can eat, you know, things like chicken wings and a load of butter and just, you know, really greasy things. But again, very limited things can you eat in this greasy manner. <laughs> um, so yeah, those are my pros. Let's talk about the cons, which the cons, the cons, the cons, which kind of speak more to me. Thing is, our brain actually needs sugar. We actually need sugar and carbs to perform. So by depleting our system of it, you could find yourself feeling cranky and tired and kind of out of breath if you do work out. I definitely felt that. I was working out in the gym while on keto and I didn't feel as strong. I didn't feel as, you know, forceful and like, you know, I tend to really get into my workouts. I was not into my workouts at all. I just felt like tired and sluggish and like, bleh, like gross. So I definitely didn't like that. And so, I think I like my carbs, I guess. <laughs> Another thing, it's really hard to be social or eat out because once you start realizing what has carbs and sugars, you realize that it's really hard to control that when you're eating out or picking up something on a road trip or just, you know, even with alcohols, you can't have any mixed drinks if you're a drinker or you can't, there's so much that you can't have. It is such a restricting diet, it's almost impossible to eat out. You might as well just bring a little to-go prepared meal or just like a stick of butter to gnaw, 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 I don't know. And another con is that there's no cheat days. If you cheat and you fall out of ketosis, you fall out of your keto, whatever you were doing, and you have to start all over again. So just think about that. If you're not 100% on point, you're screwed. So just keep that in mind. That's a big con in my book because there's no room for mistakes and life, we have mistakes here in life. We're human and we should be able to make a few mistakes with our eating habits. You know what I mean? Yeah, so like I said, it's very restricting. There's very few things that you can eat. And I hated that. I hated the fact that I couldn't have fruits. I hated the fact that I couldn't eat things like potatoes and rice. I love fruit and I think that's healthy. There's so many like vitamins and minerals and you can't have any of these foods. So I feel like all you're eating is just protein and like shit ton of fat. And so after a while, I honestly started feeling gross on the inside, just like missing the refreshing things that I enjoy, like orange juice. I like orange juice. So 
that is definitely a big con for me. And then another thing, sorry to bring this up, but it definitely leads to constipation. Um, your system will be backed up. I think it probably takes a while to get regular with the keto diet. I probably wasn't on it long enough to regularize myself, but I was definitely feeling constipated and kind of like puffy. I definitely think this is not a long term type of situation. It's not good for the long term. It's not good for your body to be in this state of shock for such a long period of time. And I know there are people that live and breathe a keto diet, but I mean, that's up to you. Maybe it helps you. Maybe you have certain conditions that you need to be on a keto diet for. I do not. And I personally feel better eating a well-balanced diet, having my proteins, my carbs, and my fats, and just you know, keeping it all at a moderate level. And again, like I said, I think the most important thing is actually counting your calories and making sure that you are eating in a deficit if your goal is to lose weight. If you want to drop the pounds on the scale, you got to eat less than you burn. Exactly, yeah, less than you burn. You gotta eat less than you burn. If you eat more than you burn, then you're gonna put on weight or maintain. So yeah, if you are somebody that likes to be active, if you like to work out, if you enjoy, you know, having a, a bagel here and there, or a donut, or a piece of fruit, or something delicious, in moderation, of course, then I think just a well-rounded uh, calorie counting diet, the classic. The classic is probably the better approach, especially for long-term um, success in losing weight. Of course, I do think you could throw in some keto here and there, just shock your system. I think it definitely helped right now. I kind of shocked my system and now I'm going back to eating carbs and I'm feeling amazing. I'm feeling great. I feel like I'm seeing results, like amazing results. So if you do want to do a couple weeks of keto here and there just to shock your system and introduce something new, um, that's always good. It's just like, it's kind of like just switching up your workouts too. You always want to shock your body and give it something new and confuse it so it's working harder. But yeah, so that's my experience with keto. It was cool, but it's not for me. I wasn't happy. I didn't like what I was eating and I'm happy to be eating carbs again. So that's my honest review on the ketogenic diet, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Anyways, I hope this video has helped you guys. I hope you guys took something from it. Let me know what you think about keto in the comments below and let me know what else you'd like to see. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you guys next time. Bye.